Hi you guys, it's Haley, and today we're watching Ginny and Georgia season one, episode four. This episode is called Lydia Bennett is Hundo a Feminist. Hopefully I said that right. That's a pretty long name for an episode title. Kind of feels like a Fall Out Boy song. If you guys want to get early reactions and uncut reactions, I have my Patreon down in the description box. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this show so far, so let's just get right into it. Sound good. None of this high school bands at my school sounded good. It stuck it out with me when I was on Adderall and was like a total zombie for like three years. Which is why we should start with Adderall brains. It, it has it has a message. I got this for you. Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> we got bad mini carrots and hummus, bro. I snacks with the bros. <laughs> the annual back to school bake sale is one of my very favorite events and as a member of the neighborhood- Back to school? I thought this was like two the middle of the year or something. <laughs> Last year we raised 5k. 5k with cakes and pies? What if we do a casino mat? You can raise serious money with poker. Georgia, you know Erica from HR? When I was babysitting Austin, I saw several credit cards in his name. Okay, how you gonna talk your way out of this one? I found out that Gil used Austin's social security number to open multiple credit cards. He stole from his nine-year-old son. I mean, we are up here. <laughs> I look up to her so much. I want to be her. I trusted you in my house with my kids. You should have asked me before you brought in HR. But she's turning it back on him. <laughs> You're right. I should have. Yes, you have great ideas. Great ideas like casino night. <laughs> Still manipulating him. Wow. I love it. Okay, that was good. See what you did there. Yeah. Bake sales are so boring. They never, they don't actually make that much money. I Maybe mean, that's just where I am. We always did bake sales, and they're always a bust. Guy in the neighborhood the other day. Is he tall? Black, muscular? No. What is that? <laughs> this is just a guy. He's so cute and innocent. <laughs> I can hear their giggles all the way down to the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Things happening. I mean, a lot's happening, but there's no plot. Wait, that was <laughs> Nora Slut. Okay, you know what? Jordan and I waited two years before we had sex. I'm kidding. You know how sex positive I am? <laughs> I'm positive I want to have sex. Sorry, <laughs> you have orgasms? Yeah, but not from penis penetration. Penis <laughs> penetration. Uh, excuse me, I'm the gay one. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Burn, Marcus. Okay. Bold, bold. Send him the picture. Yes! <laughs> Sorry. Wonderful. Happy to. Great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this bag for you. Put you gonna grab a seat right here. Right. Good job, Joe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have horses? Yeah. Three. They're my farm. Funk kind of horses, huh? Yeah. Betsy, Bessie, and Milkshake. <gasps> milkshake? milkshake. Let's we'll see what happens when he finds out. Oh. Look goodness. Oh damn, my bets kind of shift them too. A Lydia bit. Bennett's wow. My free read project is internalized sexism. Why we don't like Lydia Bennett. 
The unsung feminist of the book is Lydia. I almost took her whole family down. It was immature. Women get a million different messages on how they're supposed to be. It's confusing. Okay, Jenny, you need to calm down. You're being aggressive. Really, Mom? Taking me to the gyno? Putting me on the pill? Did you really need to do that in the middle of a school day? <laughs> sure did. To decide if I go on birth control? Sure don't. You're such a bad feminist. Yeah, that's me. You think I know what I'm doing? Nobody knows what they're doing. And you are not disgusting. I got some stuff from Sweet Pea and me. Thanks, Ma. This is... I haven't even begun with you. This is how you handle your freedom? You need financial? No, I feel like I'm getting this whole sexy thing because Georgia's area of expertise is not mine. Yeah, Georgia is insanely hot. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sister. Moving You realize you don't actually work here, right? Obviously, but table six needs their check and table eight wants an order of wings before happy hour's over. <laughs> Good job, Max. You can't be back here. Folly does not look real. I know, right? No one listens to Joe. What? Jay <gasps> you just left a photo from two years ago. Oh my god. I can't go to battle of the bands now. She's gonna think I'm a freaking stalker. Table three's ready to order. Table three's gonna have to wait, Joe. Maybe. <laughs> Already know that you like her? No. We didn't talk about how hard she makes my nipples. We talk about her dumb sister, Sasha. Oh my god. You're people. <laughs> Fresh salad. <laughs> Ooh, looking good. Oh, her hair looks really nice. You look, um, I mean, the place really it looks incredible. Yeah, the Not place. Bad, Ellie Mae. I don't know who, who that is. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Seriously, is he impregnating with his voice right now? Wow. She just left a photo from 2016. Oh. You're actually a stalker. Yeah, but in like a cute way? Yeah. <laughs> in a very cute way. I feel like you're maybe. Mad at me? You didn't say anything after the photo. I feel like you don't really like me. Oh, oh he came. We have a very special dinner for two at Blue Farm. You know you have this bad habit of taking away my money. <laughs> it's for the school, right? But you don't have kids. Do it for dinner. Or... Thank you so much. Aww. And also riding lessons <laughs> with real horses. Can we go for six? Six thousand. Thank you. Do I see seven? Super rich. Seven thousand. Sold for ten thousand. Holy crap! Holy crap! What? Ten thousand dollars for your kid to be a principal for the day, which I don't even know what it means. Very talented. Oh, did he write her a song? Jenny, he's so close to me. <laughs> Jenny Miller, this song's for you. Oh, this is I can barely breathe when you are near. <laughs> and I'm really, really, really scared. Everything I'm born It's all I wanted you to know. With you, I cry, no tears. Oh, he's so cute! Oh my god! I read all of Pride and Prejudice just so we could talk about it. Oh I'm like really behind on my homework. That mixed with the song. And... I feel like an idiot. Oh. I just want you to think that I'm hot. Believe me. <laughs> I think you're hot. We all think you're hot. Everyone thinks you're hot. The only man I've ever seen her truly love is my dad. And that never ends well. But you can't fall in love if you always have your guard up. How was Battle of the Bands? Amazing. Hunter won. Yay! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I figured. He's watching. I like you. And that doesn't happen for me. Or ever, really, so. Do it. Would you like to go to dinner with me? I can. I'll work for you. Erica. Erica. Oh. I'd love to.
<laughs> so good. So that was Ginny and Georgia season one, episode four. I'm really surprised how much I like this show, especially with it only being a couple episodes in. Typically shows that are kind of like this take me a little bit of time to get into it, but holy crap, this one's just so good. And I will keep saying it, but I absolutely love Georgia. Like, yes, I understand what, she's, what she does is wrong and illegal and she manipulates everyone and in in real life that's those aren't really good qualities to have but one in a tv show it's completely different so it's super enjoyable to watch in my opinion and what she does i would probably say like a 95 percent if not more she does more out of like necessity she's not stealing money just to steal money she's doing it because she doesn't have the money she's trying to raise her kids Ginny and hunter were so cute in this episode they had a little bit of some miscommunication between the two but once they clear that all up they seem better than ever the song hunter wrote for her was oh my god so cute dude if someone wrote me a song i'd instantly be in love with them i oh god and marcus i feel like he didn't have any lines in this episode like every scene that i can like think of that he was in, he was kind of just making faces. He wasn't actually saying, I don't think he actually said anything this episode. <laughs> Damn it, I, I don't want to like Marcus, but I do. But I'm pretty sure I like Hunter more. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I have to say for this video. If you guys want to get uncut and early reactions, I have my Patreon down in the description below. And I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, just give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.